We have Deion Sanders coming on. Deion so. Sanders, <laughs> join the show. No, in all seriousness, though, we do have a special guest. It was supposed to be a surprise, but we kind of just gave it away. I'd like to welcome the one, the only, Deion Sanders, the fourth, third, second to the show. What up, though, Deion? <laughs> man, you already know it's the second, man. You know what I'm saying? How y'all doing? How y'all doing, man? man? It's good to it's, be here. It's good to see you again. It's been a while. Appreciate you joining the show, brother. Hey, I'm just excited to be here. So we just got done having a little debate. I don't know if you heard or not, but um, they put it up. Fox Sports said if the Rams stumble out of the gate, if the Rams have a bad season to start, they're looking to explore trade options for one Aaron Donald. So this is like a dream come true to me. What, what, would, it, what would it take for you to bring in Aaron Donald to Detroit? Yeah, if that if that happens, I I, heard, I caught the end of that comment. Someone was saying he wasn't feeling that. Uh, I'm feeling that. I'm I'm with you. Like, if if somehow that dude became available, you just make it happen. Now I don't know like on on top of head how the financials would work. I know he's getting paid and things like that. But yeah, dudes like that don't come become available. And knowing Brad, like I, I just get the sense like Brad would be like, all right, we're going to get him because we got to assume mid like midway part of the season when they're kind of selling. We, we got to be in a solid place feeling pretty good about where we're at. I don't even care what we need at that point. Like, I, our D-line can be balling. I still want Aaron Donald. Yeah. I, I would – I still want the guy. Yeah, I, I don't – I mean, that's just – how do you not want that guy? Yeah, yeah. So, I'm on board. I, I, okay, I have this question, though, because he didn't finish the season off the, the ankle injury. Are there any concerns with that? The injury part? Look, so yeah. here's the thing, right? Um, I haven't – I haven't dove into this in a minute here. But what I think when – there's not many concerns for me with Aaron Donald because of the fact that we have, first off, the depth that we have. Um, I, I assume he's going to come in, be kind of not a rotational piece, but because we have the guys like Aleem, they're going to have to see the field. Now, what I always loved about Aaron, what I always love about Aaron Donald is I think he's just built different in the sense like usually guys at his size are like, like he's big in the lower body. Y'all know what I'm talking about. When you mm -hmm. look at that dude, that lower body stick, man. So he's he just built a little bit different. Yeah. I, you guys know Kalaja came out this year and he was drawing some comps. And you're like, oh, I can see it based on what they what they list as. But then when you look at him, like, yeah, they don't look the same. One guy's just, he's just like big and squatty, but he's also not that big either. So I wouldn't, no, I wouldn't really be concerned. It's kind of would make me think of, you know, what, what the Rams did last year, right? When they went out and added Von Miller. Um, I guess Odell was a free agent signing, but they, they felt like, you know, they, they needed more pieces. So they added Von Miller and it wasn't like he was a long term piece for him, but took him over the top. You can't have enough pass rushers. And honestly, if there'd be any questions about pass rush, it'll probably come from the interior. If there is questions at that point in the season, if you feel like you're in a place to make a move, the questions to me won't be anywhere but the interior. And he's been able to play uh, multiple ways. So I don't have any scheme fit questions either. Deion, what, what's the asking price? Or what's what's what do you think that value of, of Aaron Donald is in the trade market for the Detroit Lions? Man, if they're like selling, you know, I don't know, man. I gotta think like I can't I can't imagine that dude, I don't care his age, the contract, I can't imagine him going for less than a first round pick. I couldn't imagine that, but I, if I, do you guys know his con do you know if this is the last year of his contract? No, I don't no. think it is. He's got three more years left. Um I have the cat pits here too. Yeah. Um Obviously, the cap it would change after the trade, but it's twenty six million this year. Next year, it's thirty four okay. million. Then after that, it's twenty nine million, which I don't honestly hate. And I think the same way they uh, structured yeah. Goss when he got signed, so you know, sign those rookies. I think they do something like that too. Right. But they make the trade. Right. Yeah. I mean, and then of course, you know, you always have to look at the quarterback position because of where that's going to be. I, I kind of expect that the Lions are going to want to front load if they do a little extension here, but they could always, like you said, you can always move that money around. And plus, mm -hmm. that's kind of putting you in the range of where these dudes are getting paid now. Like the guys, the Quinton Williams, the guys that are up for the new big deals, he's just on the back half of it. But, ooh, man, three years left. He, he'd probably he'd probably take a pretty good draft pick. I, I, I would think at least a second-round pick. So that, for me, <laughs> would See, like – he's at least a second. Yeah, it, it'd be an all-out <laughs> move. Like I'd be – that's an all-in move for the Detroit Lions. Yeah. It would be – that would push them into Super Bowl contention in oh, my absolutely. mind. Like that would, that would mean they are a top-two team – in the NFC, and they're they're fighting for the Super Bowl. Am I wrong there? Well, well, hold up. So you're saying we're not that now? Is that what you're trying to tell me? <laughs> you kind of said that. I think we're top four. I get you. Okay, I take that. I'll top take ten, that. Uh, no, I mean uh, top ten. <laughs> I'll take that. Uh, I, I think that makes sense because I think when you 
But if I look at this defensive side of the ball, I think we all like what they did in the back end there. But I don't know if there's like that kind of piece that like that piece doesn't usually come available, especially in the cornerback halfway through the season. You're not going to find that piece like Donald will be rare. Any player that comes available that's that good is rare. But that's actually a position that you could you could like look at and say, OK, we can actually get like a lot better here, because, again, that's a spot where everybody needs into your pass rush. And it's like the one thing that if you have that, but you also can play the run at a high level. It's not really I don't know if there's another position that changes the game like that outside of quarterback. I yeah. don't think I don't think that there is just because of you know, I mean he's he's almost like a, a quarterback in the sense of he's almost impacting every play. It's you kind of have to pull away to not have to deal with him. Like when we played him, it was yeah. like, hey, just don't you know, don't let him get involved. And then he got involved on the last play. OK, yeah. Bad timing. But same thing. Yeah, the Super Bowl, I think too. so. Yeah. So. When once down, I was like, yeah. all right, fuck it. Yeah. Time to wrap the game up. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm closing this shit. That's it. It was lights out. So obviously Absolutely. Aaron Donald yep. is a pipe dream and it's a best case scenario. It's like if everything goes right, that would happen. But are there anybody else is there anybody else on your radar of guy, you know, cut candidates, some of the free agents that are still out there that you'd be interested in bringing into this Lions team? Yeah, no, that's interesting. I, I think for me, I'd have to look position first. I, I mean, like, for example, um, I'm always interested in the interior defensive line position because I still feel like, you know, I, I like the addition of Broderick and what it's going to look like here. But I always like that because, again, like I said, I just think the impact is so heavy from play to play. But there's a lot of these positions where I don't want to, like, place someone on top of someone else. Like, I don't want to add someone on top of that. For example, corner. Like, we got a lot of, like, Emmanuel Mosley. I don't want to put someone on top of Mosley having Jacobs because then I don't get to see what he is. It's like, why did I even give him a prove a deal? Like, there was no point of even doing that. So, for a lot of these positions, I'm not really look, looking to place. I I don't think there's a guy that comes to mind. I mean, when you talk about, like, the players that are kind of being thrown out there now, like, Chase Young just intrigues me. He just intrigues me because – um, he is a guy with one year left on his deal, but it feels like, you know, Jeff Okuda went for, I think, a round six. Pick. I don't think he'll go for that. And he's also played at a high level when he's been healthy. So I think that's the difference. And you would have to pay him after this year. But if you could feel like hey, we can get him back, like like he's probably going to come back if he plays well when we want to bring him back season because it'd be hard to extend him immediately. That would be something that would intrigue me because that's a position where I think right now you could argue and say, OK, well, hey, Romeo, you know, where his contracts at the pay cut pay cut there Charles Jervis deal like do we have a high high upside player even at that position already like is there a guy that we're trying to like not you know that we want to see the field so that's like a, a kind of position to be interested is adding you know kind of a edge rusher opposite of Hutchinson potentially that could play three downs but even then like I'm gonna be honest with you guys there's not I don't I don't want to add a player that's going to take snaps from really any positions to be honest I mean there's really not a spot there where I want to do that yeah um and then I'm going to be back to Aaron Donald real quick, too, because in the event that happened, there's no way you afford both Jared Goff and Aaron Donald on those type of contracts unless you're extending both. Yeah. Would you Do you feel comfortable enough to step away from Jared Goff? Give him the keys to the Bentley to end the hooker. exchange for Aaron Donald. Nah. Nah. I would, well, here's my issue with that. So I think it'd be like two – It'd be here. here's the problem, right? It would be like two sides of it because if you feel like it makes sense – I feel like for the most part, if you get to that point of season, they're selling and you're like, that makes sense to make that push to go all in. To also say, then I would think golf is playing at a pretty darn high level at that point. So I wouldn't want to like move that, especially yeah. knowing that Hooker can't even play. I don't well, even, I don't I even guess, know what he's going to look like. You know, not, 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 at, not at the deadline, but just like yeah. in the future from that point. Like you, you, like, you wouldn't be able to re-sign him. Yeah, like following the season, like you just know like that's the final year of his contract. Yeah, no, I get that, but that would that and that would be my issue. It's like I guess we'll never know, but like the fact that I can't even see Hooker in the preseason, I don't know what he's gonna look like beyond now. So if golf's playing well, it'd be hard, you know, for me saying, man, we're in a good position, we could try to take that next step. To then also at the same time doing that, doing that, knowing that we can't bring back the quarterback, I can I can go find a deep. I, I like our defensive tackles. You can get elite there, but just go like, hey, let's go find a quarterback. Like that's gonna be much more difficult. And we know golf is still under contract, right? So. I get what you're saying. I, you just make it work. You make it work. You know what I'm saying? You just make some things happen. You know, you move some contracts around you. You find a way to make it work. Look, the Lions got cash space now, right? They don't make any more big moves uh, based on the way they've spent. I think this is the new three-year period starts now of, like, spending 9%. They're going to roll over a good amount of cap space. Like, I'm thinking about $15 million probably. They'll probably roll over in the next year. So yeah. they're going to have money financially. You know, maybe you throw that 15 to an arrow, Donald. You can make it work. I think you can find a way to make it work. Um it, the, the issue would then just become more so the next patch of guys that you're resigning, which would be the St. Browns, the guys in this first draft class that you have to resign. You would have to push their contracts back, I would say. Maybe a guy like Jonah Jackson, instead of saying, we're resigning him, you go and just say, 
we're going to replace him through the draft. And maybe Sorstel steps in, something like that. Yeah. I'd do it. <laughs> I, 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 I'd do hey, it. I'm not saying I wouldn't do it. You just got to find a way. I, yeah, you yeah. can't – you can't – easy, you know you can't uh, – like if we're playing – let's say we're, we're uh, five and two – we can't we can't make that move knowing that we've got to move the quarterback though if we do this like that's crazy that's a crazy no, move yeah, now, you I'm may end up doing, doing it anyway this year. I'm just, oh I yeah would... no i'm not trading golf this year i'm yeah. saying like you I'd know you wouldn't Donald. be able to well you have to have that contract. plan yeah, yeah and, and, and i gotta be able... God, yeah what i think they yeah. had that plan i think hendon hooker is that plan I, I think that's what that's why i drafted him as early as a third round pick and he's had those expectations on him as a prospect too it's just the injury and the age kind of threw things off deflated his value a little bit right I mean, you got stars like Morgan Wallen coming to town wearing that hidden hook jersey too. <laughs> Just saying, it, it feels like something's there, right. something's cooking, brother. Yeah. But oh, you're right though. We, we, it, they, it might be. They would have to see him on the field, and and not just on the field, perform on the field as well. So like, it is a bit of a pipe dream if it were to happen to go down that way. I'm yeah. saying, I mean, maybe not because if you're going all in this year, you go yeah. all in and you deal with the consequences later. Brad Holmes is from that that film. He's from fuck them picks. Yeah. That, <laughs> I'm, the Lions are fucking picks blood, ready right you know, now. <laughs> the Lions are about yeah. fucking picks yeah. ready. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Ah, man. Picks and, but, hey, crack. keep this in mind, though. Keep this in mind. We do have two-thirds next year. So, I mean, that's, that's why, yeah. that that could give you some flexibility. It's something, it's something to, that's to think about. That's why I was about. building, too. So, I'm right. not, hey, if this all it takes, yeah. What a first rounder, a second and two-thirds. Aaron Donald. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Man, Come that's on. a lot, dog. Wait, you said a first, a, second, and two third for Donald? Yeah, I, you'd have to be that, right? I feel like it'd have to be. I mean, like a first rounder, two thirds, and a fifth. Guy's a three-time defensive that, player of the year, seven-time first-team All-Pro, like twenty sacks two years ago. Yeah, like yeah. a three, three, At, from the interior defensive. I, line. Nah, I, I couldn't do that. Man. I couldn't do all that. No? That's that's. I get it. It might have to be that price. Yeah. I don't think I could give up all that. The only possible I say is you would expect that your picks would be at the end of the round. So it's yeah. like, ah, oh, it's first round pick, but it's pick 29, right? So it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I wouldn't, I, I could Pick 32, we've got that's, Aaron that's in this roster. Come on. This is true. You're right. I set the bar low there. I don't know, man. That's a lot. That's a lot of draft picks to give. What would you, what would you give up? Oh, uh, like, no, I wouldn't do like, that. Are you giving up a first, though? You're giving up a first or something, right? You have to give up a first. Man. I don't want to give up a first. I Bro, think. Here's my concern. Here's, oh, okay, I I'm listening. I know you're right though. No, but you're right. You're right. The re- the reason I don't is because I think there's key positions that may have to get hit on again. Uh, for example, edge rusher, we may have to hit that again. Um, you know, obviously offensive line, but I don't think that has to be a first round pick. But I really look at edge rusher there, and I could see that becoming some receiver could also be something that they look at again for that spot. But I mean, it's it. But here's the issue, right? So let's say you go to to your plan. If you said we're we're gonna feel good about going to the next quarterback hooker, and that's how we free up the space. That's kind of part of the plan. Well, now you're doing that without draft picks as well. Ah, I don't think I want to do that, man, because I money. feel like that kind of that could throw off the rookie, rookie deal, right? But there's the balance then. Like if I have the money, I'd rather spend the money. Like for example, like this offseason, you know, like when the, those defense tackles that rarely become available, I would over. I would then just say maybe we just overspend there. And we just go get that guy. If I give up both assets, the money side, which is kind of the benefit of having a young quarterback and the draft picks, now what do I have to build with? I don't got nothing to build with, man. We're you just kind of rolling with what we got. We got a lot hey, of proven deals. We got Brad Holmes, baby. He's he's what patting a thousand from his late round picks, mm-hmm. man. But we got to pay some bills. We got to get the draft picks. Mm-hmm.